it's so good to see you. And it's all right to call you a grumpy old woman. It's, it's not an insult, it's a badge of honour. Yes, yes. You have to start to be grumpy around about, I don't know, 30 okay. or, or 15, <laughs> in fact. Some of you the can be a grumpy old woman when you're a teenager, I you think. Can, <laughs> yes. So what's this Fifty Shades of Beige? What are we yes. talking about this time, the grumpy old ladies? Uh, well, when we began this, um, we, this is the second time we've, second or third time we've taken this show out. Sure. Um, my friends are coming for the third time now and no and I haven't read it my best friend read it for me okay, it's not worth it is it not? no I don't think so I just looked at the naughty bits and then got bored <laughs> <laughs> thought no no <laughs> no thanks not for you <laughs> no 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 but do you really enjoy this whole this whole experience because you you kind of it's, it's very different from what you're used to doing isn't it because yeah, you yeah. can ad-lib and you can have fun with the audience yes. and it, you know it, yeah. I guess every show is different Yes, it is. I mean, I don't ad lib because I'm not a writer and I'm, I, I wouldn't know how to construct a sentence that was funny. I, I've got funny bones, I think. I think yeah, when I yeah. say something funny, it comes across. Absolutely. Uh, but again, you know, she's such a good writer, Jenny. You wouldn't, and Judith, who writes with her, you wouldn't want to muck about with it. But breaking that fourth wall down completely was extraordinary. Mm. The first time I ever did it, which was now six years ago, a different show with Jenny. I was so nervous before the first night. I really didn't think I'd be able to get out there. And she said, come on, just trust us, we'll be fine. Yeah. And then as soon as I said, I have no idea what I'm going to say now, and uh, the audience just thought it was the funniest thing, you know, <laughs> since French bread, and she told me what to say, and off we went. And I just, oh, they really, I can literally talk to them. You can, and look them in it's the all eye right. And, but that was oh, so different for you to do that. So to, different, to so different. Yeah. I mean, against the law. I Wonderful. Know. But a really, really good experience. Yes. And, and again, you know, that doing it with all these women that you know really well, you trust each other, it just yes. works. Yes. It works. It's a great, I mean, it's, it's because what we're watching on the stage is we all relate to it. Yeah. It's very much like what, what Victoria Wood used to, used to write. We, yeah. we would watch it, and the reason we were laughing is because, yeah, we identified with it. Totally yeah, identified definitely. with it. I mean, she was just a genius. And I know you worked with her so, so closely. Yeah. Oh, she was brilliant. <laughs> just brilliant. And I loved your announcer. Oh, yeah. She was yeah. fantastic. What fun. What, what a gift. Great what fun. a gift that I was to do. But you know what? I didn't realise that you draw and you sketch and you love to do that as well. Well, that's a great thing about going out on tour because uh, if you've got time to kill during the day sure. um, and you haven't got time to do maybe go for a long journey and see an amazing castle or something. If you just look out of your window, we'll go down to the seafront. We're going to the south coast on this tour. Sure. And, um, and I will take my little uh, journal. Do you want me to show yeah, you? Yeah, please. I'd love to see it. I'd love to see it. Okay. I really would, Susie. Well, yeah, here, fantastic. We have, here we have Canterbury. And here we have Cambridge. <laughs> it's brilliant. It's really, how long would it take fun. you to do one of them? Well, it depends. You can go on fiddling at it you yeah, know, for quite yeah, a yeah, long yeah. time. But, and do you uh, find that really therapeutic? An hour or two. Yes, well, it's just... I like listening to the radio, so I like sketching and listening to the radio. So that, that's what I do when I'm away from home. <laughs> or it's the allotment if I'm at home to, 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 to still the brain. Yeah. Yes. So, so it does. Would you grow in the allotment, then? At the moment, we've got Mange 2, very grateful for the rain. I've got uh, my first early potatoes in. Fantastic. Loads of fruit. I love this. Great. I love this. It's brilliant. So you're kind of, like, self-sufficient, almost. Most. I haven't got a pig yet. No, but hey, yeah. it's only a matter of time. <laughs> you, you, never, you never can tell. I think that's absolutely... But who's looking after it, though, while you're on tour? Uh, I've got friends moving in. My sister-in-law. I'm Good. going to yeah, get her down there with the house. Well, you, you, you don't want it to get all overgrown. <laughs> no, 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 you do not. You get told off. No, absolutely. Yeah. It, has to be, it, has to be, it has to be absolutely Pristine. Right. Pristine. No, look, we loved seeing you and Cory. Is that something that you could go back to, do you ever think? I mean, she was never... You know, she was never sort of written out as such. She, she just... didn't... She didn't um, no, uh, uh, there was a possibility. There's you and Keith Duffy. That was naughty. It was lovely. <laughs> you wouldn't be playing me for We were both quite it. nervous, actually. Really? I'd, I'd never kissed on telly. Oh, I really? And, um, and so I said to my friend, you know, oh, my God, how do you do... I've done it in the theatre, but not on telly. I mean, it was all quite... Da, 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 da. <laughs> <laughs> you got there in the end. There are perks to the job. Many perks. <laughs> They're really good. It was quite good, wasn't it? Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, I was in my 50s, so, you know, lovely. Absolutely, and if you're going to, you know, your first kiss on telly, why not with uh, such a lovely man as Keith? I know, and he was. He was lovely. I then a good lad. did it again with um, lovely Bill Ward. <laughs> I know. That was lovely, yeah. <laughs> Very good. No, it's great fun. And, and Grumpy Old Ladies, when does it all kick off? 
Well, we, we first night's this Friday. <gasps> Gosh. Um, yes, we're going up to Stafford. Right. Uh, and then we just dive off all over sure. the place. Well, we'll stick all the dates on our website so oh, people fantastic. know where to get Thank in touch you. with you. And we're going to the focus. south coast, which we haven't done, so I'm right. looking forward to that this, this month. I'll be brilliant. It's a great night out. It's yeah, a smashing it's night such out. Fun. Go with the girls, sit there, have an absolute hoot it's and just lovely. laugh. Yeah. It's good. But blokes, blokes like it too. They do, and blokes we're glad like to too. see them because yeah. most of our audiences look like an outbreak of sequin cardigans <laughs> in a women's prison. But that's fine. But that's fine too. That's absolutely fine. Susie Joy, thank you so much. Lovely to thank be you here. so much for coming in. Great to see you. Thank you. Thank you.